Hello, this is Sadhvir. In this video, we will learn the derivative of inverse trigonometric function. Here I have the list of all six derivative of all six inverse trigonometric function. Uh, before we will proceed, I want to uh, uh, clear one misconception about the inverse uh, trigonometric function. Uh, uh, for example, sine inverse of x is not equal to sine inverse x. So trigo inverse trigonometric function are the function itself. It's not the quotient of one and uh, sine of x. So you cannot use uh, you cannot use the quotient rule to calculate the derivative of this function. So this is the one reason that we have also a different notation from sine inverse function, which is a arc sine of x. So sometimes people will use instead of writing the uh, minus one on the top uh, the sine inverse x the arc sine of x uh, there is this list is long and uh, we have to memorize in somehow but the best way to memorize any formula in mathematics is to practice the formula with the various examples so let's consider some examples and practice these rules uh, I have this first example. I want to calculate the derivative of arc cosine nine x square plus x, which is also which is similar as cosine inverse nine x square plus x with a different notation. So one thing I would need is what is the derivative dy by dx of cosine inverse x. So I can see from the previous slide, it was minus one divided by square root of one minus x square. That is the derivative of inverse cosine. Since uh, the question in our example is the composition of two function, um, nine x square plus x and uh, cosine of x. So we have two function, one function is sitting inside of the another function. This is our first function. This is the second function, which is setting inside of the function. So we have to use the chain rule in order to compute the derivative of that function. So let's see how we will do that. Uh, we have y is equal to cosine inverse nine x square plus x. If I take my u is equal to the inside function, which is the second function, nine x square plus x, then my y will become uh, cosine inverse of u. Then I will calculate the derivative of u but with respect to x, which is basically 18x plus x. And I will calculate the derivative of y with respect to u, which is uh, uh, by using this formula, which is a minus one divided by square root of one minus u square and then I will apply the chain rule so apply chain rule chain rule the dy by dx the derivative of y with respect to x is the multiplication of the derivative of y with respect to u and u with respect to x uh, I mean, we will multiply this term with to this term and write down here. So you have minus one square root of one minus u square time 18 x plus uh, the derivative of this is a one, sorry. So this is 18 x plus one. So since I would like to have my answer in one variable, I start from x, I will end in x, so I will replace that u uh, from here. So I will plug that u into uh, uh, in here. So therefore I will have a minus 18 x uh, plus one divided by the square root of one minus, what is the u? u is a nine x square plus x. This is the final answer for this problem. I will box my answer. This is the final solution. 
The next example I have is this time we have an arc tangent inverse of x or in a different notation. In the second notation, it will be tangent inverse x square minus one. So I would need the derivative of tangent inverse. So I'm going to write down here what is the derivative dy by df of tangent inverse of x. The derivative of this one is a bit simpler than any other inverse trigonometric function. It is a 1 over 1 plus x squared. So again, uh, this is the product of two functions. This is the composition of two functions. This function is uh, composed by tangent inverse and the inside function is this is outside and this is the inside function is x square minus one so we will use the chain rule in this example also to calculate the derivative of this function to so use the chain rule i will make a substitution u which will be inside function x square minus one then my outside function will become tangent inverse of u I will calculate the derivative of inside function with respect to x, which is going to be 2x minus 0. And I will calculate the derivative of the outside function with respect to u. So this will be 1 over 1 plus u square. And then I will apply the chain rule. Similarly, same as in the last example we did, so apply the chain rule. So chain rule uh, will give me the derivative of y with respect to x and it is the product of the derivative of y with respect to u times u with respect to x or another way I will multiply these two terms. So this will be 1 over 1 plus u square times 2x. Since I want to have my answer in one variable and uh, it should be in x because I start from x i should end from x so i will take that u and plug here so it will be one plus x square minus one the square of that and that's my final answer i will box my answer so i have two more example here in uh in the last two example we use the chain and the derivative of inverse trigonometric function here in the first example we will use the product rule and uh, in the second examples we will use the double chain rule so let's start with the example uh, the first example so we have in our first example we have the function f of x is equal to x square uh, tangent inverse x so since this is the product of two function, we will use the product rule. What is the product rule? F and G, if the two function are multiplied together, their derivative is the derivative of the first function, the second function is as it is, and plus F, then the derivative of the second function. This is the product rule. So if I use that rule, I will have dy by dx using Leibniz uh, notation, x square time the derivative of tangent inverse x so tangent inverse x is as it is and plus x square times the derivative of tangent inverse oops tangent inverse x so derivative of x square is a 2x so that's here then the derivative of tangent and tangent fun tangent inverse function is as it is then x square then here we multiply the derivative of tangent inverse x so you can see from this list of formulas the derivative of tangent inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square so i will simplify a bit this expression which is x square 1 plus x square so that's your derivative of that function is so I will box my answer here. Okay, let's go to the second problem of uh, where we will use the double chain, double or more than one chain. So here 
I have a function g of x in my problem number two. My function g of x is uh, arc or tangent inverse x divided by two raised to power one half. So here you can see the outside function is a power function one half, and then this is the inside function. And then in this inside function, there is another inside function. So you have to use the chain rule uh, three times. G prime of x, first I will use the chain rule on the very outside function, which is gonna be a one half, then tangent inverse x divided by two will take one from the one half and multiply by the derivative of the inside function outside tangent inverse x divided by two. So this will be one half and uh, tangent inverse tan inverse x divided by two. This is a negative one half. And now the derivative of tan inverse, tan derivative of tan tan inverse or tangent inverse is one over one plus the inside function is x divided by two the square of that this is the derivative of tangent inverse and times the derivative of inside function outside which is x divided by two and the final step we will basically simplify as much as we can tangent inverse x divided by two raised to power negative one half this derivative is a one over one plus x mm -hmm. squared divided by four and derivative of x half is basically one half time x but uh, one half time derivative of x is a one so that's it um we will box our answer here so this is my derivative g prime of x and I will not simplify further, but there is a, you can simplify a little bit more if you want to. Uh, here I have one um, uh, practice problem for you uh, uh, to see if you have mastered this concept, taking the derivative of the inverse trigonometric function. Uh, if you want to check your answer, you can basically click on the link above and submit your answer. Um, last but not the least, I have one uh, um, one uh, application of the inverse trigonometric function. Here, derivative of inverse trigonometric function, we will apply to a word problem. Uh, let's read this word problem, what it says. Suppose that the height of a right angle triangle, so we have a right angle triangle. So one thing, notice. Uh, with the fixed base, base is a fix and the height base is a fix is growing at a rate of three unit per second. So the height of the right angle triangle is growing three unit per second. When base is a one unit and the height is one unit, how fast the angle of the opposite uh, height is changing. So first let's draw the right angle triangle. So we have a right angle triangle. So let's draw So let's say this is a theta which is a depend on time this is a height h of t which is also depending on time as time evolves the height changes and we have also given h prime of T is equal to three unit because the height changes at the rate of three unit per second and the base is always one unit so we have given this thing so from this right angle triangle uh, we know that by using the Sokotova uh, formula the tangent of theta which is a depend on t also is equal to the height h of t divided by base so opposite over base is tangent of theta. So this will imply the theta of t by using the definition of the inverse function that will be tangent inverse h of t. 
and therefore we need to compute how the the angle is changing so for d theta over dt will be derivative of tangent inverse which is a 1 over 1 plus h t times the derivative of inside a function h prime of t lodi high um, uh, not the lodi high the this is the derivative of uh, inside a function multiply outside so since we want to calculate d theta over dt at height at when at at height h of t is equal to 1 and therefore this is equal to 1 so this is the square of that i put that i want to so 1 plus 1 and uh, since h of t at any time is a 3 unit so that is a 3 so the answer is a 3 half Okay, this will complete uh, this video on the derivative of inverse trigonometric function. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channels if you like uh, this videos and, and you want to see more videos. Bye bye for now.